Seven reasons why your dog always stinks and how to fix it. You're the best dog parent you can be, right? You take your best friend for a walk or to play for exercise every day. You make sure she doesn't eat too much. You try to avoid feeding her people food. And you take the time to make sure she's trained and well behaved at all times. And yet, for some reason, she just stinks and you have no idea what to do about it. If that's the case, don't worry. This video will give 7 reasons why your dog is stinking the house up despite your best efforts and what you can do to fix it without too much trouble or breaking the bank. And stick around for the end of the video to learn something you might not have known about your four-legged friend. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to be the first to know whenever we upload new informative videos just like this one. Number 1. Does your dog love to play outside? Is she super playful and does she never run out of energy? Does this sometimes lead to problems where she's digging holes in the backyard or eating plants and other things that you and I would never put in our mouths? That could be one of the main reasons that your furry friend is stinking up the house. She is going outside and having the time of her life, getting dirt all over her body and then coming in and getting it all over her bedding and favorite indoor toys. It might not seem very likely at first, but if it's been a while since you washed her bed or her toys, then we recommend you start doing it regularly. Your nose will thank us. You should especially make sure that you're washing those chew toys regularly. All that bacteria causing the stinky breath can easily transfer on to chew toys, making the toys smell just as bad. Which leads us to the second reason why your dog might always stink. Number 2. That's right, the famous doggy breath. It's a great feeling when your pal just can't seem to stop licking you, and it's one of the best parts of having a dog as a pet. But that breath can be pretty bad when you get a whiff during those kisses. The bad breath comes from a buildup of bacteria in your dog's mouth. It's most common if you're not taking care of your dog's dental health, but it can also mean more serious things like lung or intestinal problems, as well as diabetes and kidney disease in your dog. First, check if it's a simple dental fix by brushing your dog's teeth once a day and make sure your friend gets a full dental cleaning once or twice a year. You can also treat your dog to a dental chew or a bone that will help ease that stink. If these solutions don't work, then it's probably time to take your dog to the vet for a checkup. Number 3. Everybody loves a dog's ears, right? Maybe those cute, long, and droopy ones are your main reason why you chose to bring that adorable Basset Hound puppy home in the first place. Those ears may be undeniably cute, but they can also lead to some stinky problems. They can gather moisture, and that moisture can lead to a strong, yeasty smell. If you notice the smell, try cleaning out your dog's ears with a dog ear cleaner. If the smell doesn't go away or it starts smelling worse, like old rotten milk, then it's time to take your buddy to the vet because it's probably a bacterial infection. If the smell isn't overwhelming, but you've noticed that your dog is scratching his ears or shaking his head a lot, it probably means there's an infection. You should take your dog to the vet, but if you're confident in your medicine-making abilities, you can also try making your own homemade ear cleaner. It's pretty simple. Mix apple cider vinegar and water together and lightly spray it in the ear. After that, apply a warm towel or other compress. Number 4. Flatulence Spend enough time around dogs and you're bound to get assaulted by a silent but deadly fart. And the occasional gas is normal for dogs, but if it happens a little too often, it could be whatever your pooch is eating. There are a couple foods that can lead to excessive flatulence, most of them human. Beans, peas, foods that are high in fat, or dairy products. It's not just these foods though. 
Sometimes your dog's kibble can cause digestive problems as well. If that's the case, check the labels on your dog's food to see if it contains any of those gassy foods I mentioned as ingredients. If that's the case, try a simple food switch and enjoy that fresh air. If your dog's gas persists or it's particularly putrid, then it could be a more serious problem and it's probably time to see what your vet has to say. Number 5. Can you remember the last time you gave your dog a bath or took her to the groomers? If it wasn't any longer than 6 weeks ago, then your pup should probably be smelling fine. But if it was over 6 weeks ago, or you can't even remember the last time you gave Spot a bath, then it's probably time for him to get a deep clean. If you give him a good bath every 4 to 6 weeks, then that should be enough. And if you're busy or not comfortable giving your dog a bath, then taking him to a pet groomer for a thorough bathing should do the trick. Even if you're not psyched about giving your dog a bath, you can brush him between taking him to the groomer to get rid of dead skin, dirt, and saliva. That alone will go a long way to making your dog smell better. Number 6. Maybe it goes deeper than your dog's fur, and it's actually his skin that's causing the unpleasant stench. There are lots of different skin conditions in dogs that can cause bad aromas. A common one that smells musty or like blue cheese is called seborrhea. It comes from a buildup of yeast on your dog's skin. If you think your dog has seborrhea, then you can stop it by bathing your dog, giving him medicine, and cleaning his ears. The breed of your dog could also make him prone to skin problems. If his breed has overlapping skin folds, then there's a good chance that moisture will get caught in the folds and make him stink. Before getting in there and cleaning the skin folds yourself, it's best to ask your vet about the best way to approach cleaning them because you don't want to remove healthy oils that also form in the folds of skin. Number 7. Just like some dogs have a certain skin type that makes them more prone to smelling bad, they can also have skin oil that naturally smells. All dogs have an aroma that's unique to them and some breeds are smellier than others. And dogs will secrete this skin oil naturally through sweating. Dogs don't have pores that help them sweat all over their body like humans. They sweat through their paws and that's why they may not smell like a bed of roses, even though your dog spends all his time running through your rose bed. So, if you're excited to get a new member of the family but you're worried about how he might smell, do some research to see which breeds smell the best. And if you do your research and your dog still smells, it's always best to take him to the vet to make sure it's nothing serious. Hopefully, you've learned a thing or two about what's making your dog smell so bad all the time and what you can do to fix it by watching this video. Dogs are very complex animals and there are quite a few reasons why they might be smelling but thankfully, most of those issues can be fixed easily. If you liked this video and found it helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to get more videos just like it.